right, round two. Release the hounds! I mean the other competitors. Online teams give you the chance to create a team and then take on other teams and challenges online. It's really a way for players to sort of create their own mini communities, organizing teams uh, to make videos or to play together online. We're changing the world this game. We're actually getting people connected. We've implemented a feature which is the ability to sort of find a teammate. A little bit like a classified system where players can find the team that matches them perfectly as far as what their tendencies are, what type of skating they like to do, being able to find teams and check out what other teams have done and their content, all of that exists both on our website and in the game as well. The main thing that, that teams affected was how we built the challenges. We actually went back to the drawing board on, on every challenge type and said, hey, could you do this as a team-based challenge? Old favorites like, you know, the death races and contests and things like that makes sense to do it from a team perspective. And we've got a bunch of new challenges this year too. So we've got things like uh, 1-Up. It's kind of like the game of Skate, but a little bit different. You've got X number of seconds to get a point total as a team, and then the other team has to then try and beat that and 1-Up it. We do one called Domination, where the teams are going against each other trying to own as many spots in a time limit that they can. Another new challenge type this year is called Own the Lot. Six to 12 things to do within this one area. People can play different roles on these teams. There's guys who are going to be filmers and editors who are going to be setting up the shots while they're skating with their team in free skate. You can also design the team logo online using our skate graphics tool. In addition, you can design the park that your team uploads to the web to be rated and downloaded by other teams. So, you know, it's not just about competitive, it's also about cooperative as well. Skate Feed is sort of our own mini little social network that we're building into Skate 3. A page that has news items as well as your stats and a bunch of messages around what your friends and teammates have been doing with the game. You're getting all these messages about their progress, uh, but you're also seeing messages around the content they're creating. It's just another one of those little things that we're doing to try to tie the community together. you're actually kind of always getting rewarded for what you've done. From creating stuff, competing, doing challenges, quite literally everything you do. Shoot photos, film, do a race, kill yourself on a hole of meat, even doing stuff online. Everything you do sells boards. Pretty simple, right? Now go hit the streets.